So I don't know about you, but Christmas shenanigans and all of that, a bit of a tweaky back. I thought it would be nice to do, you know, a half an hour-ish sequence that kind of focuses on uh, sorting out these, the twinge in the spine. So without further ado, we're going to start on all fours. So what you might want to do rock and pop it down for your knees it's very unusual to start on all fours not sure i've ever started on all fours before splatty hands froggy hands remember so as you place your hands down feel the connection with the mat the floor the earth pushing down through the fingers as much as you can comfortably. And then drawing the fingers in towards the palm, towards that very central point in your hands. And hopefully that will create some engagement, a little bit of lift through the hands and engagement up through the arms, maybe even as far up as your armpits. Just play with that, see how it feels. Remember, if, you're, <clears throat> if you have wrist stuff going on, you may want to roll your mat up and pop the heels of your hands on the edge of the mat so you're creating less of, a, of an angle for your wrists. You could do that with a rug. If it's really hard being on your hands for too long, you could come up onto your fists and go back down again. You want to kind of make the effort to get your hands down flat from time to time. It's good practice, so maybe play with that. Maybe come up onto your fists and then go back down flat hands. Do that a few times. I had living already, you see. Okay, and then settling back down into the hands Create that engagement, so driving down through the fingers and then drawing them up for your frog hands. Draw the shoulders down away from the ears, so the shoulder blades go down the back. And as you do that, notice, maybe noticing a bit of space, a bit more space in the chest. Driving down through the shins. Now, you may want a rolled up blanket under the tops of your feet here, might be more comfortable for you. So make, do make yourself comfortable in your all four position. Okay, so you draw the shoulders, drive down through the shins and the tops of the feet as much as you can. Extend from the crown of the head and then allow the belly to kind of release down towards the floor. Breathing there, softening the face, feeling the breath, entering the body. Letting that belly draw down further towards the floor as you inhale. And then as you exhale, maybe noticing a little squeeze across the abdomen. Particularly at the end of the exhale, be able to notice a bit of a squeezing. So that is your transverse abdominus. It's a broad band of muscle that wraps around your visceral core. It's your stabilizing muscle and it squeezes in order to stabilize you. So it's quite important. It's also very subtle. So it's um, you often tap into the rectus abdominus, the six pack. You very rarely check in with your transverse abdominus. So it's nice to do that. Okay, so we're just going to start today with some cat-cows. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, curl up through the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, cog by cog, dropping the head. Your inhale goes the other way, so you tilt the pelvis the other way, the belly draws towards the floor, the chest is open, and the head comes up so the gaze is forward. All the movement is in the spine, so the arms stay straight and strong. You're essing through 
through the spine. Soften the face. Finishing on an inhale, so opening the chest, and then returning to your neutral spine, allowing the natural lumbar curve to occur. Okay, and then from here, let's come up onto our fingertips. So coming up onto the fingertips, just breathing there for a moment. Back down, flat hands, and draw the hips back, bottom to the heels. But keeping yourself kind of looking forward. So you're not coming all the way down into a child's pose. You're just drawing the hips back, bottom to the heels. Arms are straight. Shoulders are still drawing away from the ears, and the gaze is forward. Exhaling down, inhaling back up. Pulling those hips back as you go down. Feel the stretch in the lower back. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Exhaling down. This time we're going to stay there. And have a little bit of upper thoracic movement. So if you keep your bottom down and then try and cat-cow, You'll find as you exhale and kind of tuck yourself under, tuck your tailbone under and curl up through the spine, really the only movement happens in the upper part of the back. Inhale, open the chest, gaze is forward, draw those shoulders back. Exhale, curling round. A little bit of micro movement happening in the lower back. Essentially, this is kind of cat-cow for your upper back, your upper thoracic. Finishing on an inhale, returning to that neutral spine, inhaling yourself back up onto all fours. Take the hands a hand distance further forward. And exhale, drop the forearms down. As you drop the forearms down, squeeze the elbows together as much as you can. Inhale, coming up. Soften the face. Exhale. Down. Going down and staying there. And turning the hands so the palms face up. Attempting to send the thumbs down towards the floor much as you can. Opening the shoulders. You can feel that opening the shoulders. And then while we're here, let's cat cow, people. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, curl up through the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale, tilting the pelvis the other way, dropping the belly, opening the chest, gazes forward. Keep driving the thumbs down. Let each inhale give space. Let each exhale soften. Turn the palms so they face down. And then you can inhale yourself back up. Moving the hands back to a comfortable position for you. If you can, pop them underneath your shoulders. If you need them further forward or um, further back, do whatever. Further back is probably not great. Okay, coming up onto the fingertips again, and drawing the hips back as you exhale. Inhale, coming up onto the fingertips, exhale, draw the hips back. Flat 
flatten the hands again, coming up on your inhale. Taking the right hand to the back of the head. Trying to keep the pressure even through your shins and your pelvis parallel with the floor. Inhale, lifting the right elbow, the right rib cage. Looking out kind of underneath your right arm. Exhale, sending the elbow so it faces down. Inhale, open. Exhale, elbow down. So upper thoracic twist here. Swapping hands. Just check in with your position. Ground down through everything. Activate the hand. And then left hand to the back of the head. Inhale. Opening up, drawing the elbow up, the rib cage. Exhale, elbow points down to the floor. And release. Inhale, you can exhale the right leg out. And return the left hand to the back of the head. So exactly the same movement, but this time you've got your right leg extended. Inhale, opening. Exhale. Three times, and then you can pop that hand back down again. Okay, so drive down through the left shin. Again, pelvis stays parallel with the floor. When you're ready, if you want to, you could bring that right leg up and then extend out the left arm, should you want to. So just be mindful about what your body wants you to do today. Few breaths there. So this is a classic example where your transverse abdominus should be Squeezing to keep you stable, but you should still be able to breathe into the belly. So if you're still with me, you could take the elbow to the knee. So you bend the leg and bring the knee and the elbow in, and then inhale, extend. So exhale, knee and elbow. Inhale, extend. Once more. Popping the left hand down and maybe a few toe taps with that right leg to blink max never hurt anyone okay and then bending coming back onto your all fours draw the hips back and this time draw the hands up so fingertips to the ceiling coming down into child's pose now so relaxing down onto your thighs if that's comfortable Popping a blanket, rolled up blanket behind your knees if you need to do that. Breathing. Inhaling. Back up. And then exhale the left leg out. Coming onto the toes, sending the heel away, checking the pelvis, driving down through the right shin, checking the hand. And then let's take the right hand to the back of the head and inhale, open up that thoracic twist. Exhale, down. I'm going to draw the rib cage to the sky. And then returning the hand, checking in with your position. Taking the leg up if you want to and inhaling the arm out <clears throat> if you want to. Breathing now. From the fingertips on the right hand to the toes on the left foot. Taking the elbow to the knee, so bending the knee, bending the arm and bringing the two together as you exhale. Returning the hand, 
and a few toe taps for the glooch. Back into your all four position. Exhale, sending the hips back into child's pose. Inhale, coming up. And just bringing the shoulders a little bit further forward and maybe start releasing the hips a little bit. So exhale, back into child's pose. Inhale, coming up. A bit more weight through the wrists as the body weight comes forward. And exhale down. Notice what's going on in your body, what it wants you to do. So this is my little warm-up that I tend to do for up dog. If you're feeling up to it and your body says, okay, do that, that'll be fun. You could come forward and then slowly start really dropping the hip. As you do that, you want to engage the glutes and the hamstrings. So your legs are engaged and you're on the tops of your feet. So your pelvis is off the ground. There's then a drawing back of the shoulders, an opening of the chest, and the gaze is forward. I'm hoping, I think my hands might be a little bit too far forward actually. You want your hands to be underneath your shoulders. I'm not sure. Breathing there. And then you can drop the knees, send the hips back into child's pose. So inhale, coming up, just go as far as you want to go. If you do want to come into up dog, remember to engage that back line so there's no pinching in the lumbar, in the lower back. Okay, so let's add a downward dog. I've still got my socks on, so I'm going to have to take them off, I'm afraid. Well, and ditto you guys. So socks off if you can bear it. <clears throat> it's that feedback you get from bare feet is, is so much better <laughs> than three socks and your slip. Okay, so child's pose. Inhale yourself up and into up dog if that's, as, that's where you're going. And then dropping the knees, tucking the toes, and as you exhale, send the sit bones up and back. Lots of things to remember in your downward dog, of course. So I always check in with my hands. So let's have a look at my hands and see, are they level? Because if they're not level, it's going to set everything else into a bit of a paddy. Okay. And then you want that engagement again in the hands. So the drawing of the fingers towards the palms, the froggy hands. Maybe pushing into the thumb joint a little bit more helps to externally rotate the shoulders Although some people um, find pushing into the edge of the little finger is more helpful. Essentially, the arms are straight. You're kind of pushing away with the arms and then the shoulders roll away from the ears. The neck's in line with the spine, so hopefully mine is. And then a little bend in the knees. Very helpful if you want to get a really nice straight back, which is what the aim is. So if you need to bend your knees more, really bend the knees in order to get that straight spine. As you start to straightening, straighten the legs, you can tell when you lose it. I'm just maintaining a straight spine. If you turn your toes in just a tiny bit, like a millimetre or something, hardly anything, 
that also helps give a little bit of broadening, lengthening to the lower back. Inhale, drop the knees, flatten the feet. Exhale, charts. Inhale, coming up, dropping the hips, up dog. Exhale, tucking the toes, sending the sit bones back, down dog. Breathe in your downward dog. Bend the knees, lengthening through the spine. And then move, like paddle the feet, swing the hips, whatever you feel like doing. Have a play in your downward dog. Inhale, drop the knees. Exhale, flatten the feet, hips go back, child's pose. Inhale, all the way up, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And this time in our downward dog, we're just going to walk the hands in towards the feet, coming into a forward fold. Bend the knees. Breathing there. Taking the hands to the shins or the knees and then pushing through them, lengthening through the spine, crown of the head, draw the shoulders away from the ears, straight back. Exhale, bend the knees, let the rib cage come onto the thighs and drop the head, fingertips to the floor. Inhale, roll up the spine, arms are heavy, try and go vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way up, arms up, fingertips to the ceiling. Exhale, let the arms Standing for a moment, noticing the sensations on the tips of the fingers. Draw the shoulders down away from the ears, soften the face. Breathe into the belly. Inhale, take the arms up, stretch up. Hands to prayer above your head as you exhale. Draw the prayer down to the heart space and bend the knees. So you're coming down into what I call chair prayer. And then interlace the fingers and extend the arms out on an inhale. The exhale tucks the tailbone under and you curl through the spine. Release the arms, clasp them behind you. Inhale, pushing through the feet, come up to standing. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then exhale, leading with the chest. Dive forward, maybe bend the knees again. And if you want to, if it feels okay, you could let the arms drift up. Just be careful with this pose. Waiting for the next inhale to swing the arms back down and up to your ears for chair. And then pushing through the floor again, come up to standing. Exhale, let the arms drift down. Okay. Again, again. Inhale, arms up, hands to prayer. Exhale, down into chair prayer. Inhale, extend the arms out in front of you. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, curl through. Release the hands, clasp them behind you. Inhale, pushing through the feet, come up to standing. And then exhale, chest first, diving forward. And allow the arms to come up. If that's comfortable. Breathing there. Inhale, swooping the arms down, almost like touching the floor as they swoop back up to chair, pushing through the feet, coming up to standing. Exhale. Drift on down. Come to the front of your mat. 
right foot forward, left foot back, warrior two. Outside edge of the back foot, one's parallel with the back edge of the mat, and then shamoo out the heel. Tiny, tiny amount, but enough to kind of be able to push through the heel and stop this back hip from dropping forward. You want to keep that back hip back. Okay. Check in with the feet, even pressure. Pad to the toes. Inhale, up to the giants, pulling you up through the crown of the head, filling the torso with the breath. Exhale, bending the front knee. Nothing else moves, just the front knee. Send it to the right. Try and feel that right glute come on as you drive the knee to the right. And then you can inhale, take the arms up, relax the shoulders, extend out through the fingertips. The gaze is out over the middle finger on the right hand. Shoot nice things. Doo -doo. Good vibes, unicorns, rainbows, glitter, fairies, stuff like that. Breathing there, releasing the belly, allowing the breath to flow. Fluidity, inside and out people. Next, inhale, straightening that front leg. As you do that, keep sending the right knee to the right. So try and see if you can keep that glute on into Trikonasana now. So exhale, extend as far as you can towards the right hand, like as if someone's pulling you over that way. Let the hand drop down wherever it gets to. Up to you, left hand. Either ooh, fingertips to the ceiling, or you could pop it on your hip or the small of your back. Either way, this rib cage, the left rib cage, is drawing up to the sky. There's lots of space in the chest as you breathe. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, bending the front knee, drive it. Right arm down onto the thigh of the right leg, palm faces up, and then you can inhale, take the left arm up and over, maybe looking up at the palm. Just be mindful that you're not, um, the arm isn't kind of sitting on your ear. You want to keep the shoulder blades down the back, even though the arm is nice and straight and you're stretching out with the arm. Breathing. Exhale, take the left hand, down onto the fingertips, onto the um, left side of that right foot, and then you can take the right hand down on the other side. Swivel on the back foot, so you're up onto the toes, and you're facing, you're now facing forward into, you're in a kind of lunge with your hands down. Step the left foot to meet the right, exhale, fold. Inhale, bending the knees, rolling all the way up the spine, arms up, fingertips to the ceiling. Exhale, draw the prayer. And release. Inhale. Exhale, stepping the right foot back. Warrior two feet, people, check them out. That was grounding down through your feet and then the energy bringing you up. <laughs> uh -huh. Inhale, giant. Exhale, bend the front knee, <clears throat> drive it to the left, glute. Inhale, arms up, relax the shoulders, extend through the fingertips. Soften the face. Maybe smile as well, a little smile. Sends a message to your nervous system that's all, that all is good. I've taken to, I've noticed how serious we all look when we're doing yoga. I've taken to trying to remember to smile a little bit. And it does bring a bit more pleasure, I think. So it's worth giving it a go. Smile into the eyes, into the heart. Next, inhale, straighten that front leg. Keeping the glute on if you can. Exhale, extend, extend, extend. Pull, being pulled, the giant could be pulling you here. Pop the hand down. Whatever you want to do with that right arm and breathe. So remember, rib cage to the sky, opening the chest, breathing all the way. 
into the torso. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Inhale, coming up. And exhale, bending that front knee again. Drive it to the left. Feel the glute come on. Forearm to the thigh. Inhale. Right arm up and over, palm faces down, look up at the palm, remember to bring the shoulder blade down so you're not sitting on your ear. Breathing there. Feel the stretch from the fingertips to the outside edge of that back foot. Paj Vakonasana. Nice, nice stretch. Okay, and then turn, looking at that left foot, swooping the right hand down, left hand goes down, turn on the back foot. You could maybe send the heel away a little bit and then step the right foot to meet the left, forward fold. Little bend in the knees as you roll yourself up. Draw the prayer. And release. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, draw the prayer, hinge at the hips, come forward. <coughs> Bending the knees if you need to. Inhale, taking the hands to the legs and lengthening. Exhale, bend the knees, hands come down and we step back onto all fours. Check in, shins, hands, shoulders. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, curl. Inhale, tilt the pelvis the other way, drop the belly, open the chest. Coming to a flat back after an inhale. Exhale, turn and look at your right foot. Come back to center on the inhale and exhale the left. You're just stretching out through the sides now. Back to center, tuck the toes under, downward dog. Sit bones back and up. Knees bent. Feel the hands. Push through them and then Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, look at your hands, right knee to right wrist, left knee to left wrist. Cross your shins and sit yourself down. Okay, taking the feet so they're hip width apart, we're just going to roll down as slowly as you can. Okay, so taking the arms down by your side, palms facing down. Extend through the crown of the head. Breathing there for a moment. And then pushing through the feet, tilting the pelvis a little bit and rolling up through the spine for your mini bridge. Rolling back down, vertebrae by vertebrae. And letting the knees fall into the chest. Flex the feet and you can exhale, extend the legs up to the sky. Inhale, point the toes. Bend the knees and bring the heels in towards the bottom as much as you can. And then exhale, slowly, 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 let the legs come back down. So the feet meet the floor. And then you can tilt the pelvis, roll up through the spine again, mini bridge. Rolling back down. Knees into the chest, flex the feet, extend the legs, point the toes, heels to the bottom, draw the thighs into the chest, and then 
and slowly, 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 taking those legs down. Check in with the feet. Inhale, arms up, fingertips to the ceiling. Exhale, turn the palms so they face each other. Sink your shoulder blades down into the ground. Inhale, arms out to the side. And then let them be really heavy. Feel the weight of the arms, your shoulders. Exhale, dropping the knees down to the right. And look to the left if that's comfy. Inhale, center. Exhale, the other way. So windscreen wipers to finish, my lovelies. Finishing on the left side, coming back to center. Letting the knees fall into the chest, having a little rock. And then extending yourselves out for your Shavasana. 